All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts and explaining for The Walking Dead Season 7, for those who have not read the comic book series, just what the sanctuary is. And it should be said right off the bat while we get started, right off the bat, that this is not the same location as Terminus, and as such, we may see them even change the name of the Sanctuary in the Walking Dead television series Season 7, because the Sanctuary, as we saw back in Season 5 with uh, Terminus and in Season 4, Sanctuary, Community for All, this kind of idea, uh, that already is a unique location. Terminus is a unique location, now pretty much destroyed. Uh, but we do have another huge location by the same name coming, and that is, of course, the home of Negan and the Saviors. So will they change the name in the TV series? Maybe. Uh, and, and what is the, uh, the sanctuary anyway, or what, uh, what is it like? So uh, from the wiki, I'll put the link in the description for the wiki, yeah, so you guys can check it out if you want to read more about it. They've got tons of information there. Uh, the sanctuary, also known as the Saviors Base, uh, is a location first seen in issue 104 of The Walking Dead. So this is, of course, just after in issue 100, you know, in the big, uh, there's a huge character death. Um, it is the home of the Saviors, a ruthless and formerly antagonistic group that Rick Grimes and his group must interact with our survivors. The location is a large factory surrounded by a chain link fence with a wall of walkers and stone barricades. So it's a it's a pretty cool spot uh, to see. And I'm expecting us to see it in season seven, probably within the first uh, few episodes, maybe even in the premiere, that would be cool to see. As we're getting to see a lot more locations now in The Walking Dead, we have, of course, Alexandria, which is our main home base, so to speak. We have uh, the Hilltop now, which, which was first appearance in season six. And of course, we have the Kingdom up and coming, which is Ezekiel's home, probably where Morgan and Carol are being taken, and Negan's home base, the Savior's home base, the Sanctuary. There's a fun quote on the wiki at 2 from Heath, who is, of course, one of our survivors in Alexandria, part of the survivors group, uh, which hopefully will survive in the TV series, but we'll have to see because the actor, of course, uh, was cast in another show. Uh, but he says in the comic books, has anyone gone to live at the sanctuary since we linked up? They should really change the name of that place to a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> It's true because uh, Negan is quite eccentric. Uh, we get to see uh, lots of different, uh, you know, scenes with him at the sanctuary in the comic book series between him burning people's faces and uh, with a hot iron and playing ping pong, which he, uh, he, he likes ping pong quite a bit, uh, as well as spending some time with a few of his different uh, wives. I think you could say, as Heath describes here, that they, he's a bit weird. He's a bit eccentric for sure. Unfortunately, in the TV series, we don't know what it's going to look like or have any kind of idea, but based on the artwork in the comics, it should be uh, something something similar. You know, old factory, old mill, this kind of deal, abandoned, broken down, <laughs> something like that. Uh, some people do think in the season five, um, I believe it's the second half, you have the kind of the uh, poster which they use for the, uh, the Blu-ray. And that uh, in the background, the top left, you can see a kind of, um, you know, part of what looks like to be a factory. So uh, people have thought for a while that maybe Rick and the others have kind of been in and around the sanctuary before and just up until season six at this point haven't run into the, um, the saviors yet until, of course, uh, you know, in, in, in season uh, six. So it is a very important location for The Walking Dead. I think it's going to be fun to see in the TV series to get to see some backstory behind uh, Negan, get to see where he's from, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's version of him. Hopefully more of the kind of silliness that I've kind of been wanting because uh, we didn't get to see too much of that in the season um, six finale. It was more uh, serious, really serious with, uh, you know, getting set up for the uh, the big character uh, kill and everything. Um, but being that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is going to be a season regular for uh, season seven and he's going to be probably in most episodes, uh, maybe with some flashbacks, which would be cool. Um, 
it's going to be an important spot. It's going to be cool to see, and we'll see if they if they do change the name to something else like the factory or something. We'll see. So uh, aside from that, that's that's pretty much all I got to say about the uh, the sanctuary. It is going to be a really important location in the future where we get to see all kinds of crazy stuff go down, even some battles. You know, zombies all around. Uh, maybe a herd come through because of some of the battles that are going on. It should be pretty cool. We've already kind of seen the uh, the saviors use zombies, um, you know, in and around their spot uh, on poles and on things like this just I suppose as a distraction or maybe a deterrent to keep people from kind of um, almost like an alarm so to speak so if someone comes to attack you and you have a bunch of zombies around uh, poles they have to kind of maybe um, maybe they make the mistake of killing them on their way in they can make some noise and maybe the uh, saviors from there can kind of figure out that somebody's on their way or just as kind of a distraction if someone's attacking them and they kind of have them in and around so not a bad idea to keep some keep some zombies on spikes just in case um, and that's pretty much all I got to say for the sanctuary. It's, it's a cool spot. Can't wait to see more of Negan. Can't wait to see more of Dwight. Maybe a flashback of Negan burning Dwight's face at the sanctuary or something like that. Be pretty sweet. So uh, that's all I really got to say for this one. That's all the explanation needed for this one. But uh, heads up for it. It should be a pretty cool location to see. And uh, we should be getting to see lots of uh, pretty awesome scenes and battles and stuff like that there in the next few seasons. So that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please, as usual, thumb it up below. Thanks for helping the channel get to 200,000 subscribers, guys. You guys are the, are the best. Freaking awesome awesome and uh, you can share and favorite and if you're new and you want to join you want to subscribe you can subscribe at the bottom left that's it for this one i'll see you guys again real soon for another walking dead video as always it's trev and i'm saying peace later guys see ya you better subscribe